My initial research and observational learning centered on the social modeling of aggression. In our experiment, preschool children observed an adult model beat up an inflated boba doll in novel ways. She pummeled it with a mallet, flung it in the air, kicked it repeatedly, and threw it down and beat it. And these novel acts were embellished with hostile remarks. The children were then left in the playroom that had a variety of toys. Now the children who had observed the aggressive modeling adopted much of it. They even invented new ways for attacking the doll. Children who had not observed the adult model were less aggressive and never hit the boba doll in the novel ways that were modeled. The children who had been exposed to the aggressive modeling showed an increased attraction to guns even though the adult model never used them. At the time we did this research, it was widely believed that seeing others venting aggression would drain away the viewer's aggressive drive. As you can see, exposure to modeled aggression is hardly cathartic. Televised violence has four major effects. It teaches aggressive styles of behavior, uh, weakens restraints over aggression, desensitizes and habituates viewers to human cruelty, and shapes viewers' images of reality. With the enormous advances in the technology of communication, observational learning from the symbolic environment is placing an increasingly powerful role in people's everyday lives. Human attitudes, values, styles of behavior are now being modeled worldwide. As a result, televised modeling is becoming an influential vehicle for political and social change. We now have global broadcasts of societal conflicts as they are happening.